Detroit Lions signed a player to beef up the offensive line. We're going to talk about it. This is a good thing, and, I, and interestingly enough, we we're just talking how the Lions may look to get a, you know, a backup tackle to ensure that if Taylor Decker went down or even if a Panay Sewell went down, that you would have some extra depth there for the offensive line. So the Lions go out and do that. I swear they know exactly what they're doing, and they are a great regime. Love what Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell are getting done here. They are playing to win the game because they're getting players that can help the team out. For depth reason, depth is very important. And having somebody that can play on the tackle position is vital. But before we get into the meat and bones of this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to hear from a fan perspective like myself and or a former player in Herman Moore. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video. It pushes it out there. And let's get this intro going. Lions are solid football team all around. They got some depth pretty much everywhere, but it was a little bit lackluster at the tackle position for the offensive line. So there has been talk, should the Detroit Lions go out there and get another lineman just in case if one of our starters went down? Well, that's exactly what they did. The Detroit Lions signed former first-round pick Jermaine Effetti there. Uh, from the Chicago Bears, but he's been part of other teams as well. We're talking Atlanta Falcons, Seattle Seahawks, to really beef up the depth of the offensive line and come from Tom Pelissero. Very good news. He's a 6'5", 325-pound tackle. Look, he's not the greatest tackle in the world. Let's be honest here. But but he's better than Obina as a. He is a veteran that has done it. He's had multiple starts with the Atlanta Falcons, Seattle Seahawks, Chicago Bears, and it gives the Lions an opportunity to not as worry as much if there's an injury that left side. It helps out Jared Goff. Say Taylor Decker goes down for a couple games. Do you trust Obina Eze to be your main tackle? And I think a lot of people's answer would be absolutely not. Is he ready? You know, he's just an undrafted guy. This gives the Lions an opportunity to have somebody that you can have and trust a little bit more. He's had playing experience. That's really important. Plays for the Bears, 13 games, a right guard as well. So he's a versatile guy that can get it done. Atlanta Falcons didn't need him anymore because they drafted a tackle. In the second round, he's going to go to the Lions, and compete with Paulo and Obena Eze and Swoboda and Connor Galvin. We all know that. It doesn't really matter there. And they released rookie linebacker Dark Kingello. It doesn't really matter to make room for Ifedi because, yeah, obviously you have to get rid of somebody for that 90-man roster. And, you know, this is what you do right now to – Make a team secure is getting these vital positions backup roles for them. We talked about it. We love Jared Goff and what he's going to do, but what happens if he goes down? You need to have a backup quarterback in there so they get hooker. Offensive line, if Taylor Decker goes down, yeah, you can throw Panay Sewell to the left side, but then the right side. You can go ahead and get Fetty, throw him over there at the guard position. We're good now. Yeah, Soresdale. You got Graham Glasgow, so if there's an injury, you're good there. You know, they could play some of the center as well if Frank Ragnow is injured. So we're good, primarily in the depth. We're damn good right now. You look at the tight end position, we're great at depth there. You're probably going to have getting Shane Zilstra on the practice squad, so if there's an injury, you can bring him up, and he did fine for the Lions last year. Running back positions, depth is great. Defensive line, it feels like maybe they could get one more player in there in the interior, the edge is sound. I think they're pretty good at the linebacker position regarding depth. They're damn good in the secondary. So the Lions did what they needed to do and beefed up the depth on that offensive line. You should be very happy with this move. I think everybody 
should enjoy this move, not necessarily for the player himself, but for the fact that we're playing the long game for the 2023 NFL season. We're playing to win, okay? You don't consistently just build depth like this without the idea of getting that W here. Now, the details of this contract and the signing is not out. I don't think it's going to be too much, but again, it is a tackle position, so maybe a little bit more than veteran minimum. We have the money. That's not an issue at all. He's going to go go to Detroit, and we, we got a great, great offensive lines coach that will probably turn him even better than what he did with the previous teams that he played for. Very good there, and is exactly what the Lions need. So I'm really excited about this move. I'm really excited about what Brad Holmes is doing here. Now, again, like we were talking about earlier, I think it's really important for the Detroit Lions to go ahead and potentially look now for another defensive tackle. That's really it. I Maybe depth at linebacker, that's really about it. Like, the roster right now for the Lions, and you look at other rosters throughout the NFL, Lions is pretty freaking solid with the depth. And you need depth. Yes, we have starters. Yes, those guys are important. Yes, this, yes, that. But depth is very important because we're talking about a 17-game season and playoffs. So it's going to be even more. So good move here. Woke up to it. Love what I'm seeing what the Detroit Lions are doing. I think that this is going to be a special season for the Lions. Hopefully, we don't have injuries. Hopefully, you don't see him play. You don't want to see him play, right? You want to see your, your starters play. But he's a big guy. He's done it before. Solid move. Depth is vital towards anything. Folks, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't miss on the latest news rumors regarding our Detroit Lions. Adios.